What is OpenAI Whisper? Since the OpenAI release, the Whisper package is definitely catch the heat. It is multilingual speech recognition model, which is trained up to 650,000 or something audio files. And if you scroll down and see this block diagram, it clearly says it's used the convolution model. And it take input of log mal spectrogram. So I basically uh, think to try it myself. So let's try it. And first of all, according to their GitHub page, we need to um, install the Whisper using this command. So let's install it. Once the installation is complete, you are good to use the package. But before using it, let's grab some of example audio files. You can download these examples from this uh, GitHub. As you can see, the Whisper uh, web app is uh, we can access from contact and Mary and Daisy how this these are the two mp3 files which we can transcribe uh, and uh, next what we are going to do is import whisper and we are good to use our whisper model according to their github page we have a tiny base small medium or large options but we need to consider the required virtual RAM. So we are using the base, which is 74 uh, megabytes. So let's move to our notebook and uh, use the model with the base model. Let it cache. So once done, we can transcribe. We can use this uh, speech to text recognition code. And if we go to the GitHub page, uh, here you can see a lot of options. And simply we are going to load. Let's grab this code, which is an example code and paste it here. So whisper load audio. So for the load audio, we are changing this to our um, file content and under the content we have open ai whisper web app folder and under that we have uh, mary.mp3 file so we are using that audio file after that we need to pad or trim so that it could be adjusted according to uh, the training model and after that we have log mal spectrogram we need to convert the audio file into log mal spectrogram and after the uh, spectrogram, we can uh, simply pass that mal spectrogram to the detect language function and it will convert uh, over, it will detect which kind of language uh, the audio file have. So this is all another pretty cool feature of the Whisper. Uh, it's, it can tell you uh, the language name so you can detect the language, which, uh, which language the speaker is speaking. And once you detected the language, you can decoding or you can grab the decoding options and simply decode the model and the malfunction. And you can pass uh, this uh, decoding options to this decode function, and the result will contain your text, which you can simply grab. So that is uh, the total sample code. You can pass any audio file to this model, uh, so you can test that. Here you can see the detected language is English and Mary had a little lamp. It please was uh, with the white as snow. So that was the audio it detected. Let's change the audio. And before using the audio, let me let me show you uh, the audio. Uh, act. Simply import uh, the IPython display audio option and run this. It will show you this one is pretty hard.
audio file and if I plug in my speaker uh, you may hear the audio file I think that's enough my speaker isn't working well so let's ignore that you get the idea so let's change this audio here to the daisy and uh, let's try to convert this audio file into text uh, using the whisper and here you can see daisy 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 it just changed the daisy to the daisy I guess and give me your answer to time after crazy all for the love of you and it won't be stylish marriage so here you can see that whisper is working pretty well which uh, it is a pie touch base and uh, i am pretty impressed with this uh, uh, new ai model but uh, although i'm little disappointed that it ha it could not be uh, run onto the uh, raspberry pi I didn't test it but I still uh, like to test because last time when I try to install the PyTorch into the Raspberry Pi I get a, a lot of difficulties uh, and since if it, re it require a lot of visual RAM so I don't know if I would be able to uh, test uh, use that model into the Raspberry Pi my next video would be on that try so I will let you know if I uh, succeed or fail uh, if you want to know, please subscribe and uh, tell me in the comment what kind of thing you want to see more on the AI topic. So that's all pretty all for today's video. Thank you so much.